Hello there champs, now today we're going to have a look at the new Inspiron 27 7000 all in one. The actual model number is 7777. Alright, so if you're new around here, come on, get on the Woo train, make sure you subscribe and like this video and let me know what you think about this all in one. Would you like this or an iMac? What would you prefer? Let me know down there. Starts at around 1680 Australian. This model here was 2398 Australian, 999 US and 949 pounds. That's the starting price in those countries. So that's a very competitive price, especially when you compare it to say the iMac. Now, to be fair you probably want to compare the xps you know all in one with the imac but this can rock a 4k display so if you're in the market for an imac this could be a much more affordable alternative and more powerful so the model i have here comes with an i7 8700t which is a 35 watt six core cpu 16 gigabytes of ram and that's upgradable that's DDR4, 2666 megahertz, and a GTX 1050. So it's going to be great for gaming. A 256 gigabyte M.2 SATA SSD. So it's not NVMe, but it will still be very fast and snappy for putting your windows on that. And it also comes with a two and a half inch, one terabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive. Now these are all upgradable. So that's fantastic. Now having a look at it, it looks very stylish. Has a nice, understated, elegant, clean, modern look. It's not too thick. Look around the sides. It will look good on any desk. Nice and clean with those thin bezels. It is really nice. Now I do have a content creator review and a gaming review. So check out those reviews for the gaming and content creation performance. I'll leave a link in the description. But the build quality is really good. So there are three display options, Full HD, Full HD Touch, which is the one I have here, and you also have the option of the premium 4K display. Matte display I have here, no glare, really nice display, good viewing angles, plenty bright enough, and around nearly 300 nits, and it's around, what, 80-something sRGB. So you can use it for color work. And gaming looks good on this too. But if you want the premium display, get that 4K one. Has all the ports you want. One USB 3.1 Type-C, one USB 3.1 Gen 1 with PowerShare, universal audio jack, one HDMI out, one HDMI in, Ethernet, USB 3.1 Gen 1 and USB 2.0, two USB 3.1 Gen 1s, two USB 2.0s, audio line out. You have the power port and you also have an SD card reader. Now what's great about this is you can plug stuff into it so you can actually use it as a monitor so if you want to you know hook up your xbox or whatever you can hook that up to there and you have an output as well the sound is really good too you know it's a 27 inch so i'd expect a fair bit of power and gaming is really good doesn't really distort and overall sound quality is really good it does come with a black keyboard and mouse there's nothing much to say about it they work fine they work good they match the unit but of course you can always change this now with the performance you get maximum performance out of these parts it is very quiet it does have a bit of idling noise but when it ramps up you can hardly hear it so when you're pushing the cpu and gpu you can hardly notice that it's actually under load so there's no throttling heat and noise is well controlled You've got six cores so great performance there for video editing gaming gtx 1050 in this so you can game the latest games at medium settings 1080p no problem it's a great alternative to an iMac, much more affordable. You have premium display options and more powerful. So it's a very good stylish all-in-one that you'll be very happy with, I think. And considering there's no throttling, what really can I complain about? It's got all the ports you want. I would like to see Thunderbolt 3. Like, that's the only downside to this. You know, where's me Thunderbolt 3? But other than that, it's like really good. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think down there in the comments. And until next time, guys. Tally ho.